My name is Mindy. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about academic writing and then the undergraduate and graduate um, U.S. University application essay. So who's excited about writing their essay? <laughs> it's one of the hardest parts, I think, other than the standardized tests. But, and it takes the longest, right? Um, so what is an essay? Um, it's one of the most common assignments you're going to write in your university career, undergrad and grad. Um, you write them for various purposes, to inform, to entertain, to challenge, to convince. Um, and it's generally written in response to a question. So you have to present a point of view, which is your thesis. Your thesis is your main statement in your introduction. And it says what your point of view is and what your paper is saying. Okay, so it's one of the most important sentences you'll have. Okay, and then it's got some, um, your body, which is two or three paragraphs with examples, right? And then you have a conclusion, um, which summarizes everything and restates your thesis, okay? So there are nine stages in preparing an essay. Did you know that there were this many? No. No, no. yeah. <laughs> Neither did I. No. So the first thing you have to do is choose your topic, okay? Um, hopefully it's one that interests you, right? And the second thing is analyze the question. Make sure you understand what you're being asked. Because if you don't, you're already at a disadvantage. Your essay already makes no sense to the professor or to the admissions board, right? Um, construct an initial outline plan. You know, if you're choosing it and you understand the question, then jot down kind of what you want to talk about, what examples you're thinking of in your head, right? And then locate and evaluate your resources. Do research, okay? Whether it's online or at your library, mm -hmm. and evaluate them. <laughs> Make sure they are credible, okay? Wikipedia is good, but not always credible, right? You can't always trust things that you find on the internet, okay? Um, research and organize your notes, okay? You're gonna get a lot of information once you go to the library or when you're printing things off the internet. So cut it out, organize it. Say, okay, this is gonna go in my introduction. This is gonna go in this paragraph. This will go in the conclusion, okay? And then put it, jot down notes, okay? And then construct your final plan, exactly what you're gonna write about. Okay. And then you can start writing your rough draft. Okay. After that, you should redraft and edit it. Have people read it. Have them check it for you. Okay. Um, and then finally, you can do your final draft. Okay. Um, stage eight might take two or three times. Okay. So don't be afraid to start over or to keep checking it. Okay. You're always going to find something to improve on, right? If you're a perfectionist, like I am sometimes. <laughs> okay, so here are some tips on academic writing. Um, one thing is pay attention to the overall structure. Um, in your introduction, you're gonna present your thesis, like we had already talked about. And then in your body, you have to convince the reader of your thesis, of your point of view. And then in the conclusion, you're going to restate your thesis and your examples. Okay? Um, when in doubt, it says use the recipe introduce, expand, justify, and conclude. So introduce your example, expand on it, justify it, give um, evidence for that, right? And then conclude, sum it back up, summarize it again. Okay? You can do that in every paragraph. Um, formal writing is not dictated conversation, okay? So when you're talking to someone, people can ask questions, right? You can switch from topic to topic and you are engaged. Formal writing's not like that. The reader is just reading. He's not talking to you. So you're going to have to describe things a little bit more than if you were in a real conversation. You have to describe the setting, describe the background. Really describe what you were feeling or how you think, okay? So it can be a little bit trickier, right? You have to use a lot more words in an essay than if you were just having a conversation.
Um, make your thesis obvious throughout, okay? Everything in your paper should pertain to your thesis. Avoid redundancy. You'll make your point a lot more clear and better if you, it's simpler, if you use less words, okay? So once you write a paragraph or a sentence, read back over it and see if you can take anything out. I've seen people write sometimes like the honest truth. Well, yeah, the truth is honest, so you don't have to say honest, just say the truth. We know, okay? So look over those things. Stay on topic, okay? Usually if you're writing an essay, it's on a very broad topic, right? And you have to choose a specific part to focus on, okay? So you're gonna find examples and other things when you're doing research that pertain to your topic, but not to your essay, okay? So keep that in mind when you're looking through examples and evidence. Um, and staying on topic doesn't mean being one-sided. Okay? If you're presenting one point of view, it's okay to discuss the other points of view. You know, some people think this. I think they're wrong because blah, blah, blah. Okay? So it's good to show that you've considered both sides because it shows your critical thinking more. Okay? And then the last four are pretty simple. So transitions are difficult but very important. You want your paper to flow. So you need to think of words that you can put at the beginning of sentences or at the end that make it flow better. However, as a result, in comparison, mm -hmm. right? Those are very important. Um, use complete sentences. <laughs> Don't use fragments. Everything should have a subject, a verb, all that. Um, put appropriate punctuation between sentences. You can have a great paper, a great essay, if your punctuation is bad, it's very distracting, okay? So look out for commas and semicolons. Make sure you put a question mark when it's a question. Okay? And then avoid contractions. Don't, can't, spell them out, do not, cannot, okay? Any questions on tips for academic writing? <laughs>